but probably the most exciting announcement that I have is... Happy 2021, everyone. Hey, that rhymes. We finally made it past that crazy, crazy year of 2020. I realize I haven't been posting in a while. Things have been incredibly busy and really crazy over the last several months. But it looks like I'm finally able to get back into some more vlogging, some more recording, and I'm going to show you a little bit of why. So in August of last year, I moved out of the house that I was in. Uh, if you watch some of my older content, you'll see that I was broadcasting mostly from my room. And now my friend Jose and I are renting this house where we've started a music studio. So Off The Grid Music Studio has its own YouTube channel. Some of the videos I actually play in, and I'll link that down below. We're gonna be updating that more. We actually have a lot more content that is coming very soon. It's already done, already recorded and edited. And apparently starting a business is pretty difficult. It takes a ton of time. Um, I never wanted to start a business. That wasn't my thing. I always wanted to be a musician. I wanted to tour, but of course 2020 happened and I had to take any jobs that I could. So that involved a lot of accompaniment work. It involved a lot of recording work. We're able to take the gear to different locations and record musicians on site. So that's been taking up a lot of time along with the editing. However, we recently hired a new editor. So a lot of my time is freed up that I was previously editing. Now I'm going to be able to do a lot more practice. But probably the most exciting announcement that I have is this. I finally have a piano. Something I've wanted basically since I was six years old. And now I, I found it fantastic deal on Facebook Marketplace. It is an Essex, which is, uh, some of you may know, a sub-company of Steinway. Um, and it's essentially brand new. It was sitting in uh, the living room of this house for, I think, a decade, but it was hardly ever played. Um, it's a really nice looking piano, and I am going to be doing recordings on it. So I've still got one more section that I need to cover, the final half of the third movement of Rachmaninoff Third. For those of you who saw the Journey to Vocalese vlog that I did, both of those recordings are up on Jose's channel. I'll link them down below and you can check them out. Uh, I think they came out pretty nice and I'm, we're happy with the results. If any of you guys watching are in the DFW Metroplex area and you need recording done, uh, send an email to otgmusicstudio at gmail.com or if you need piano lessons, I'm still accepting students, you can email me at joshvagrinpiano at gmail.com. Some of you may remember that I was transcribing a one piano arrangement of Rachmaninoff Third Concerto. I'm still doing that. Things have slowed down as I mentioned, but I am about 70 to 80 percent done with the first movement. I'll have more time to finish that out. We're gonna look on getting the sheet music released. Not entirely sure how to do that yet, but stay tuned for that and I'll give an update when the first movement is finished. And the same sponsor for that project donated this Yamaha NU1, which is one of the nicest hybrid pianos out there. They call it hybrid because it actually has real hammers. And so when you play the keys, um, it, it really feels like a piano. And it's got some of the nicest sound quality and speakers. This piano is for sale. It's going to help for the purchase of the grand piano. So if any of you are interested in getting a really nice hybrid piano, uh, you can also contact me, joshvigernpiano at gmail.com. And as you can see, I have my piano tuning kit here. I've been tuning the piano quite a bit because although it's not technically new, it's virtually new. It's not broken in. It was just sitting there. So um, it's been moved. It's acclimating to the environment. So each time I tune it, it gets a little closer. One of the big 2020 challenges for me was not having any recitals or concerts. <laughs> Uh, which was a huge part of my life and the only opportunities I had musically were either the recording or accompanying so because of that I had very little time to practice now that I actually have a sort of outlet where I can record I'm going to be dedicating more time to this um, a few things I've been working on recently and I've really had less than a week of actual good solo piano practice um, I've been working on Chopin etudes things I've done before but just getting my hands back into shape my old professor used to say that Chopin etudes is like brushing your teeth for piano technique. Um, box well-tempered clavier is another thing that I've been revisiting. And as I mentioned in the previous videos, I am still, well, 
I'm bringing back the work on Rachmaninoff Prelude in B flat major. B minor is actually very close to done. So I have that one totally memorized. I should be uploading that soon. Then there's the G minor prelude and the D minor etude, which I uploaded the version uh, that I recorded 10 years ago, and I'm gonna compare it to the version that I record soon. But I'm not gonna sit here and talk all day. I know you guys probably wanna hear what it sounds like. So here's a little bit of a sample. different things I've been working on all in progress but I'm just super excited to finally have a place I can practice at home without the hassle of all the coronavirus pandemic lockdowns thank you to everyone who subscribed um, even when I wasn't posting I was still getting questions and comments so it means a lot to me that you find this channel helpful or entertaining that you guys have subscribed and are leaving comments I like to hear what you guys say Without all the positive reinforcement in the comments, I'm not sure if I'd have the motivation to even continue with this after everything. So thank you so much for all your support.